everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Cho. If you're new to my channel, what we do here is we make art out of the simple things we have around us. For today, we're going to be focusing on those three techniques I went over earlier and we're going to be really focusing on cross hatching. And cross hatching is when we're making those X's. We're doing lines in one way and lines in the other way and the more we do of those, the darker it's going to seem. The less we do, the lighter it's going to seem. So we're focusing on this because I have a lot of students, a lot of people who watch these videos that don't have you know, maybe you don't have colors or maybe you're going somewhere else and all you have with you is a pen and a piece of paper. This is a great technique for adding color, adding value to your drawing without needing a lot of things. It's literally one item you need, either a pen or a pencil, and that's it. So it's really great. I wore this dress on purpose because it's the same kind of idea. It's just lines going in lots of different ways. There's areas it looks darker, areas where it looks lighter. So that's what we're doing with this drawing. So go grab some paper and a pen or a pencil and let's get started. For our cross hatched panda, we're gonna start off by drawing really light. And we're gonna start with drawing the circle for the head. Remember, we're drawing it lightly. That way we can just pick the best shape when we have all of our shapes down. Then we're gonna do a circle for the body. It's about the same size. Then we're gonna come in with two half circles for our ears. And I'm putting them a little bit off to the side like he's tilting his head. And then we're gonna come in with a half oval here for an arm. And we're gonna put another one over here, another little oval. And then we'll put another oval here for our leg. And then lastly, an oval here. So now that we have our shapes down, we can go ahead and with our pen or pressing darker with our pencil, we can pick our best lines. So I'm gonna go ahead here for our first arm. And then for our second arm, I'm having that arm go in front of the face a little bit. And we just want to be confident when we're making our marks. There's no right and wrong when it comes to art. Yours is going to look different than mine, and that's okay. Now we're going to come in and we're going to draw the bottom leg, which we're going to see the whole thing. And then our side leg, which we don't see the whole thing of. And now we can finish our body. And this is why I draw lightly and in pencil, and then I can go back in and either do it harder in pencil or in pen. Now I can go ahead and erase all those extra lines. Be careful when you're erasing, don't erase too hard just like I did. Make sure you're holding down your paper as you erase. There we go. So here is the start of our panda. We can go ahead and we're going to add our eyes. Do the same thing here, draw lightly and sketchy to make sure you're getting your eyes the same size because we're going to have a couple of rings around these eyes. And then the last ring, which is that black, black kind of outlines they have around them. And these don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the little circles on their paws. And you should be able to see both of them. So now we can go ahead and we can start doing our hatching. So I'm gonna color in So now let's go ahead and we're going to start doing our cross hatching. Remember cross hatching is our X's 
we can have lines going through the whole thing and then going through the other way as well. The closer together these lines are, the darker it's going to seem. And I figured a panda was a great way to show cross hatching because it's very clear black and white where the panda is dark and where it has the white fur. You can go ahead and even along where we drew our panda, go ahead and make lots of little marks right there since this is fur. Same thing with right here along here. We can do some cross hatching here so we kind of break up that line. And then I'm going to do lots of little X's. Try to change up the sizes of your X. When you get close to a line that you don't want it, you can just kind of do one direction and then go in with the other. And here I'm going to go ahead with some like longer lines going in both directions. This is a great technique to use if you don't have a lot of colors or any colors around, if you just have a pencil or just a pen. Great way to add some value and some texture to your drawings. And I want it to be darker kind of here by this armpit, so I'm adding extra layers of my cross hatching. And then I kind of want it to be light right here, but I do want there to be a tiny bit of a shadow. I'm just adding a little bit. Do the same thing down here. I want a little bit of a shadow, but not much. And we'll go ahead and do this arm as well. And now we'll do our bottom legs. And I want it to be substantially darker right along here. So I'm going to add a lot more lines. Think about where shadows would be. And don't forget the nose, which I totally did. We're just going to do a little oval. A line coming down and then we'll do our mouth. And there is our finished panda. So I hope you had fun making your panda drawing. I think he turned out so cute. Look at how, you know, in these areas, especially when it's a little further away from the camera, it looks darker here. It looks lighter here, even though I did put some pen there. And so it really helps elevate your drawing just by doing lines in two directions. I didn't even have to color the whole thing in, but it really helps add that texture. So I hope you had fun. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video to the channel. And comment below with what you'd like to see for the future. Did you like these videos? Did you like me focusing on technique? Let me know. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, friends. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs>